अभिवृद्धि देशलियोस मार्को मार्मेटियोस इर्पियन बाबा तिरुमेनी माय स्टीम फ्री ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ कोआ श्री पीएस श्री दरन पिल्ले बहुमान्य सहकरना वकुप मंत्री श्री वी एन बासवन बहुमान्य आरोग्य वकुप मंत्री श्रीमती वीना जॉर्ज इज एमिनेंस अबा मलकी सदे नूर बेगेम केदा इज एमिनेंस मेट्रोपॉलिटन एंट्री बहुमान्य कोटायम नियम सभांगा श्री तीरु वंचु राधा कृष्ण बहुमान्य कुपुपल्ली नियम सभांगा श्री चांदी उमे इस ग्रेस डॉक्टर युवानो मार्किस कमोस मेट्रोपॉलिटन रेवरेंड फादर डॉक्टर थॉमस मर्गीज अमाइये श्री रोनी मर्गीज एब्राहम एडवोकेट बीजू उमेद श्री सहोदरी सहोदर मारे एलावर को मंडे बंदना मलंकारा ऑर्थोडॉक्स सीरियन सभा संगाद विपिच्चा मार्तोमन पैतूर का सम्मेलन उद्घाटन चयन अतियाया संतोषन होन आज यमाई की पैतूर का सम्मेलन अतिल पंगे टुकुन्ना एलावर्कुं इंदे आर्दम आया आशम सकल मलंकरा ऑर्थोडॉक्स सीरियन सभायुदे चरित रत्तिले मून महासंभवन गरुड़े और मां कुतुकल आन ई पैतृक का सम्मेलन भारत तिंडे अपोस्तलन विशुद्धातो मां शिलिहा युदे रक्ता साक्षित्वा आचरत तिट्टे समापना बुम विशुद्धा वट्टा शेरिल तुरुमेनी युडे कालं चैया लिंडे नवतियुम आचरिकान उल्ला अफसरम आन ई पैतुरु का सम्मेलनम अतो डोपम मलंकरा सभा युडे भरना धरना युडे नवती युम इन्ने नाम आगोशित कुन सर्वो परि केरलत तिंडे युम भारत तिंडे युम पुरोगति युम मलंकरा ऑर्थोडॉक्स सीरियन सभा नल किया महत्ताया संभावना कले और कान पुरला अभिमाना मुहूरतम पूरी आन ई पैतरु का सम्मेलनम कोटायम नेहरू स्टेडियम तिले ई जना सागरते साक्षी नित्ति ई अभिमानक तिल पंकु चैरान साधिचत एंडे महाभाग्यम I'm not really very happy with myself that when I have to speak in Malayalam I have to look at the paper so please forgive me I apologize I apologize Therefore, the best course for me is to start with the statement that whatever my esteemed colleague, 
Honorable Shri Dharan Pillai Ji, Governor of Goa, has spoken. I associate myself with everything that he has said. As we assemble here, we are reminded of the legacy of Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church as the oldest Christian denomination in India. This church traces its roots to the first century AD and to St. Thomas, the Apostle, who is known to have arrived at Museris near Kochi in around 52 AD. The name Mark Roma, which is Syriac for St. Thomas, is a testament to the faith about the Apostles' visit. As we all know, this Heritage Assembly marks the culmination of the observance of 1950th anniversary of the martyrdom of this Apostle of India. The arrival of St. Thomas testified that Indian Christianity is much older, maybe about 250 years older than the Christian, than the European Christian. Tradition speaks of St. Thomas reaching Kerala after his missions in Persia and the Indus Valley. Along with the natives of Kerala, the Jews, Romans, and Arabs settled at major maritime centers of South India received the word of God from St. Thomas, who also established churches and ordained priests for them. I understand that as per Syrian Christian tradition, the body of St. Thomas, who attained martyrdom in AD 72, was interred in Mailapur in Chennai. This Heritage Assembly rightly recalls the contributions of St. Vatta Sheril, Gichi Varghis, Mar Dionysius, who dedicated his, his entire life to protect the Church, its democratic values, independent identity, and above all, its national consciousness. Saint Vatta Shiril, who was a man of prayer, determination, and dynamism, is known as Malankara Sabha Bhasuran, meaning illuminator of the church. He surmounted many obstacles, faced bitter opposition, constant threats, and physical attacks as he courageously led the church. His loyalty to the Sabha reflected in his attitude, Ende Devam Enike Nalkiya Mahattaya Anugirham Ende Sabha. Sabha is the great blessing that my God has given unto me. It was his faith that gave him the courage to endure all adversities he faced while nurturing the growth of the church. But as the Holy Bible says, suffering for Jesus proves the believer's faith and troubles achieve for them greater joy and eternal glory that outweigh anything they encounter. Vatasheril, Tirumeni's canonization 
for the well deserved eternal glory that made him the third saint to be canonized by the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church as one whose efforts have enriched the great heritage of the church, it is eminently befitting that this assembly chose to honor his sacred memory. The progressive nature of the Sabha is evident in its tradition of having adopted a constitution 90 years ago, that is much before India became, we became free, and we adopted constitution for free India. It is very admirable that church constitution of 1934 retained the pure Dravidian form Malankara, which referred to Malabar or Kerala, while choosing Syrian as liturgical language and not as mark of ethnicity. I understand that the constitution of the church was the result of several steps taken earlier by the Malankara Palli Yogam to standardize the administration of the church at large. Durumeni Baba, in his speech, mentioned about Supreme Court judgment and sanctity of law. I can understand, because even in your internal affairs, you have been, you have a constitution, and you, you abide by that constitution, therefore your concern is very good. The only thing I can say to you, that all of us, those who are sitting here, those who are not here, as Indian citizens, a fundamental duty is prescribed to obey and uphold the law. It is for every citizen, including me. But I have an additional duty as governor of the state. The oath which I take, only the President of India, Honorable President of India and the governors, this form oath, this, this format of the oath is for them specifically. Where they take the oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution <laughs> and the Lord. And the only thing I can say that all of us are bound by the oath which we take. Your adherence to the continent, this long history, and adherence to the Constitution points to the keen sense of equality, fairness and justice that guided Martoma Christians true to the faith that St. Thomas the Apostle reposed in the virtue of humility and peace. He, is, he has said, he who is humble easily obeys, fears to offend anyone, is at peace with everyone, is kind with all. Humility, peace and compassion being among the cores of Indian spirituality, the values that St. Thomas upheld would have had a remarkable 
spiritual influence in those days. Many religious scholars, scholars hold, and rightly so, that Christianity originated as an Asian religion and therefore to brand it as Western or European is misleading. They also say that linking Christianity with colonialism is absolutely without any basis and that Asianness or Indianness of Christianity is an aspect which needs to be highlighted and if I can say that Martoma Syrian Sabha, they celebrate their Indianness in everything. With Catholicity, oneness and holiness as the core beliefs, the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church has always upheld its Artiyata through its origin by being headed by an Indian in being headquartered in India and most importantly in being rooted in Indian values. Though most of the members of the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church reside in Kerala, but their contributions have enriched the progress not only of India but of the whole world. True to the Indian concept, of Vasudev Kutubakam. We know Christianity and institutions managed by various churches have made tremendous contribution to the educational, social and cultural transformation of Kerala. I recall that our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji had showered praises and comiums on the contributions of Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, Syrian Church a few years ago. He had emphasized the role of the members of this community in our freedom struggle and in promoting social harmony. Their contribution to nation building is evident in their hard work in laying the foundations of modern education and health care in Kerala. The Christian missionaries opened the schools and health care facilities even in remote areas. It was also the schools of the church which readily admitted children of diverse backgrounds, taking inspiration from the words of our Savior Lord who said, let little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these children. This service of the church had certainly contributed to the strengthening of our democratic thinking, the seeds of which were sown by Kerala's spiritual leaders and social reformers. The Heritage Assembly is also the moment to think about how we should contribute to the future of our nation and state. India is now on the Amrit Yatra towards greater progress and prosperity. This is the time when we, that we strengthen our faith in the power of our youth, who would be leading the country when we celebrate the centenary of independence in 2047. We have great optimism. The demographic dividend favors us and India has the largest number of young people. To make this century, India's century, we need to utilize innovative spirit of our youth. I am sure that the young members of the Malankara Orthodox Church would surge ahead through education, innovation and social commitment to help build a more powerful, progressive and inclusive India of the future. Finally, I would refer to what 
Holy Bible says, Death is not the end of all. The grave will not have its victory. The Christian gospel does not make out the crucified Lord to be the last word. It says he has risen. Here in the sea of humanity, one can realize the truth of the word of God. My best wishes once again to everyone assembled here. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavanti, Valle Nanni, Jai Hind.